I am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch! Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' I'm winning, get buckets from the court side to the nosebleeds Yeah, they love it I'm winning, get buckets from the first in and the last out, see me coming. First take, I'm hotter than hot, hotter than some boiling water, I bubble the pot. Team full of ballers, baby, we winning a lot. I'm like Curry with the rock when I get to my spot. I'm tapping in, I'm passionate, this is what passion is. This here, nah, this is no accident. From the start to the finish, I'm cashing in. I am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch. Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Welcome to Huntington, West Virginia and Jones C. Edwards Stadium Home to the thundering herd of Marshall And one of the toughest places to play in all of college football we believe we've got a great one in store today. And when you've got a team that makes it into the top 25, now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. As we'll see, the number 17 team in the country, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, taking on the winners of three straight, the Marshall Thundering Herd. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Running back. They just created a wall. He had all kinds of room to run. I might, I might go back to that one and call that one again. It works so well. Found enough room to get there. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Got some room, headed to the goal line. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Notre Dame. That running back just had a caravan of blockers to take him into the end zone. There's not very many times at home, Reese, where I'm going to say that everybody watching on their couch could have scored on that play. This is one of them. Run over in football. That last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers, David. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. Off the bootleg to buy a little space. Got a man in the middle. And obviously it falls incomplete. The back goes in motion. Gets it all the way. Let him run the football, make a big game. When you got speed at the running back spot, you definitely. And he'll sprint in for the score. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one, running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. Looking to throw, it's Braxton. Fires into traffic, picked off. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. These guys are really hitting their stride in week four as they push out that lead. How about a game-changing play for this defense? Stepping in front of the football and knowing what to do with it, taking it all the way to the end zone. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. One of the things I love about this defense is they're so versatile in ways they can get after the quarterback. In their last game, they came away with five sacks, came from all over the place, they got the win. So you know in this one, they're going to dial up a lot of different looks. It's going to be tough for this offense to try to keep their quarterback standing up straight. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Oh, he's going to take a shot at the DB. 
And he makes the grab and gets the foot down. What a job for a huge game there. Take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. On third and long, he fires toward the end zone. He caught it. And he'll run out of bounds just short of the goal line. Wanted to get it in, but couldn't quite get it. Notre Dame has it now, first and goal. Here we go. On the option. And he'll find the end zone. I tell you what, most of the time, Reese, it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and, you know, slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. Didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. Jack Rabbit. Back to throw. It's Braxton. Looking left. Wide open downfield. Ripped off a... He'll try to pop the draw. Got the first down and more. Finds a crease at the 20. He's all the way. Really good down here close to the goal line, finding creases. Looking for a path to the end zone to the right. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Thundering Herd! It gets closer and closer to the end zone right here. You know what's coming as a defense. The offense has to be physical, and they were. And the back knew exactly what he had to get to to get six. Gets it past the marker. Oh, what a move! And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally... Well, in the first half, I'm going to continue to do what I've been doing, Palmer, because it's been all gas. Pollock, that's right. Strike while the iron's hot, too, before this... He's going to pass. He'll take a deep shot here. Go to the sideline, and it's complete, and they've got a big play. And that's why this guy's a complete running back. He's good between... On the move. And he'll glide his way in for the score. And coming into the game, you look at the stats, and you say top 10 offense in scoring. So they're going to be able to create what? Explosive plays. Another explosive plays. They've been doing it all year long. Those plays are backbreakers. Defenses just can't contain this offense. Signals for the fair catch and hauls it in just shy of the 30. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, looks like we've got a terrific atmosphere there today in Huntington. An entertaining first half, and we've got a multi-possession lead to break down thanks to the surgical precision of this offense. Might honestly take more time to talk about what didn't work than what did. The running game, the passing game, gadget plays have worked. Now it's just a matter of finishing the job. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas at Jones C. Edwards Stadium. Desperate to find anything to generate momentum here in the third quarter. And just... And the sack! All the way back at the five. As an offense, you've got to know it. This part of the field, deep in your own end, you have got to do a better job in pass pro if you're going to call a pass play at this juncture in the game. Not good enough. Breaks the tackle. Softened him up with a run. Now to throw. Touchdown by the Irish. And the following has started. The offense flexes its muscle a bit and widens the gap. Take a little exit. You know, you, you did your job. You got points. Now you put your defense in a position where, hey, go out and get another stop. We're in great shape. So the offense definitely taking care of their business. 
Showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Takes a handoff. It's Roberts. He'll move it up. Set up a good second down. They'll run it from the gun. Now they're starting. Caught in the backfield. It's Montgomery. Smashes through the tackle. And this offense. Offense dials up the screen, expecting the pass rush to come upfield man to man, but it just simply does not work. Defense stays home, and they force the incompletion. Never a doubt. And the field goal was good. They get three on the board, but it really doesn't matter much in terms of the deficit. They just don't, okay? They're prima donnas. That's what they are. That's who they are. Nice job by the defender. You could tell he was catching it. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. And it's been a long day. I mean, I, there's not much to point out that this offense has done well. They're behind huge, and they got no shot if they can't somehow find a way to protect their quarterback. That clock up there, it continues to tick. So let's see if they choose to keep the ball on the ground and stay conservative and run that clock. He's got it. Almost took it all the way, but a huge gain, and he has him set up first and goal. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. Touchdown, Notre Dame! And the punishment has been extended. They extend the lead here in the fourth, and after stumbling early, about to push their record to 3-1. and one. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get conserved because this offense obviously has had themselves a day. And apparently, their day's passing game very effective on second down. What about here on third? Looking to throw for it. Got it in the middle. It's pain. Move to the completion. Wide receiver shows motion. They'll throw it on first down. Shoots it to the left. Pitch, nice catch, and listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to, and this offense is struggling. You're down by a 1,000, but I like that they continue to fight. Maybe an opportunity for the coaching staff to condense the playbook a little I was going to say, there's not a lot of good to go back to. That'd be a quick film set. And the quarterback goes down. There is a penalty flag on the field, but I think the defense might have the option just to take this play. They'll decline that penalty. Obviously very happy with the results of the play. To the air, it's Braxton. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. Got some room to run. He's at the 20. Offense has the lead, has the football. All you got to do is run the clock out, maybe be conservative, run the football. They chose to throw, and the defense makes them pay. They just, they're just not as good as the opponent today. And, and as an athlete, it sometimes hits you in the face, and it's... And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. And, man, is that a just indictment of the day. Your quarterback getting drilled late in the football game. This offense has sputtered. They haven't found any kind of good rhythm. They haven't done things that, that really gives your coach confidence and, and makes you want to believe in them. This offense has a lot of work to do. He'll pull it on the read. And the final play is just a short gain, and we're at the end of the game. After the stumble earlier this year, a lot of people wrote this team off. People might be searching for spots on the bandwagon again now. 
Yeah, give this coaching staff a lot of credit too, Reese, because they made a few tweaks and adjustments schematically to their personnel as well, and they've really now seemed to find a nice rhythm. And it's hard to find that early in the season, but the good teams figure out who they are, what they do well, and you could tell they're starting to get in a groove, figure out who does what well and maximize that and accentuate that. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.